One thing that I've had a lot of people ask me about is how do we build prey drive in a dog that's really food motivated? Remember that food is a component of prey drive and a dog that's driven to get food is a dog that has prey drive. However, the excitability of the dog getting that treat is often a lot less than a dog who's going after a ball or a tug or something like that. So what we want to kind of do is we want to build a really higher degree of prey drive in a dog that's kind of taking treats. For example, if I was going to give a dog a piece of cheese or something like that, the dog's drive really kind of stays mediocre and low. But if the dog is chasing a ball, the dog will be more excitable. And that drive is really good for the dog to, um, to, to, to be faster, to, to sit faster, to move faster, and to do all that. Jimmy is really food driven. I'm going to show you in a great example. If I have cheese, I can get cheese. Jimmy to speak, 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 speak. I get some excitability on him. Jimmy, speak. Oh, speak. Yeah. Oh, good boy. Speak, speak. Yeah. And you can see how this drive is coming up and he's getting really excited and he really loves it. And it's really hard to maintain that because I'm not going to be able to keep cheese and, and getting these hand signals in there. And I'm not really driving him away from me. I'm kind of keeping this connection. So I want to change that up. But what I'm going to try to do now is I'm going to take and show him a ball. Say, Jimmy, Jimmy, what's that? Jimmy, Jimmy, go get it. Good boy, but he's not really that familiar with it. So I'll try a tug. Say, Jimmy, choo, choo, what's that? Oh, Jimmy, choo, choo, Jimmy, Jimmy. Now, Jimmy went to a seminar with another trainer because he's Janet's dog, and Janet took him to a trainer who said, Every dog will tug. Every dog won't do everything. Every dog will poop, every dog will pee, and every dog will at some point die. But not every dog will do certain things like not every dog is friendly not every dog will play tug not every dog has great drives so if i'm going to try to get him to tug and he gets this in his mouth and i start to pull it he becomes confused because he's really a much softer dog he doesn't have that fight drive that you really want like you'll see with goofy or dwayne so we need to come up with a better solution on how to build his, how to build this prey drive because right now he's just trying to engage me but there's nothing, there's nothing engaging. I'm, I'm using the tongue. What's that? Choo, 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 Jimmy. Choo, 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 choo. And he looks at me like I'm an idiot. <coughs> like I'm an idiot. What's that? Oh, Jimmy, <coughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Go get it. Now, when he brings it back, if I start to tug, there's no tug. There's no more interaction. Jimmy, go get it. But I'm not getting that tug, right? I'm building that drive, but he's not really getting a reward. He's still, when I'm telling him, <coughs> Jimmy, go get it. His reward here is really kind of obedience where he's kind of bringing it to me or choosing not to bring it to me. So I found a great solution to it for a dog that's got great food drive, but not really crazy prey drive, fight drive, ball drive, or anything like that. Um, and what you're seeing in Jimmy really is kind of a moderate degree of that drive, of that play drive, but it's just not enough to really make it super exciting for him. So he gets the ball and he kind of just stops. The play doesn't continue at that point, and this is where the problem lies because you're going to start to get shut down in the dog because he's doing, <coughs> he's doing the retrieve in more of an obedience mode than in a play, <coughs> play mode. So these toys are basically, everybody calls them a lotus ball, but the only one that's really made by the company that trademarked that name is this one here. I wish I would have invented this toy. I think it's one of the best toys. And I never knew about this toy until Janet pointed it out to me. So um, you'll always learn. You can always teach an old dog new tricks. Jimmy down. So um, what it really is is a treat dispensing toy. It's this different version. There's a little cute ladybug version, a little, little ladybug version. And then there's a little, um, like a little flower version. But all these toys are designed, and these are dirty because we've been using quite a bit. Um, they're made with Velcro and they dispense a treat. So all I do with this toy, real simply, is instead of me dispensing the treat, the toy dispenses the treat. So what I do is I'll put some cheese in my mouth and the cheese or whatever treat you want to use goes into the toy. So now when I give Jimmy a command, I say, Jimmy, down. Yes. And I give him a a reward, he's going to tear that open now and then get the cheese. 
Good boy, Jimmy. Jimmy, bring it. Fetch. Fetch. Good boy. And he knows when he does what I want him to do, he's going to get a reward, right? So I'm going to put these aside for now. Jimmy. Nothing in that one. Jimmy. Good. Good boy. Jimmy, heel. Good. Heel. So I'm going to get him here to stay with me. Jimmy. Jimmy. And I've got the toy. Yep. And I'm going to give him the toy. He gets the toy. And there's more of a reward than just the toy. Because you can see he's going to come back without the toy. Jimmy. Jimmy. Go fetch it. Go fetch it. Good boy. In the meantime, I'm going to reload here. And I'm back set for another round. So like I said, Jimmy, come. Good. Jimmy, down. Good. Jimmy, sit. Yes. He gets the toy. He tears it open. I'm going to now move to the second toy, which is this one. And as you see here, the treat goes right in here. I snap it up and he's not going to get anything until he chases it, until I release him, right? So here, I'm going to get rid of this one for now. Oh, good boy. Oh, yeah. So you see his accessibility is really high. Jimmy, come here. Jimmy, good boy. Jimmy, heal. Good. Let's go. Come on. Good. Good boy. Now look at his, look at his drives. They're high, but I'm not going to reward him next to me. So this is the difference with using a toy like a ball. This kind of goes into that ball category. Jimmy. Good. I keep his focus. I keep his focus. Yes. And I can reward him away from me. 